What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob with another movie review. And continuing on in my series of Alfred Hitchcock reviews, in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 1927 silent film, Downhill. Roddy, first son of the rich Berwick family, is expelled from school when he takes the blame for his friend Tim's charge. His family sends him away, and all of his friends leave him alone, and it all goes downhill from there. So Downhill was released in 1927, the third of three Hitchcock films released that year. I previously reviewed The Lodger and the ring on my channel for my Hitchcock director project and how here we are with Downhill. What's interesting is that Downhill, I actually have that film that's released as a bonus feature on the Criterion release of The Lodger. So that intrigued me to check the movie out because I was hoping if Downhill would be as good as The Lodger because as of now, aside from The Lodger, some of the other Hitchcock early silent films haven't really been that good of movies, and they definitely haven't shown Hitchcock's true potential as a director just yet, with the exception of The Lodger. So I came in thinking Downhill would be another suspense thriller, it being paired with The Lodger. Unfortunately, the movie's not. Uh, it's more of a drama. Uh, it is a wrong man story, as what we've seen in other Hitchcock films. A man is wrongly accused of a scandal that he did not have any part of and his life is ruined because of that but it's not a suspense thriller murder and double crosses aren't part of the story it's just this rodney character who gets expelled from school I and mean, then he gets in a lot of unfortunate situations that really mess his life up as the story goes along and this could have been a tragic story yes i could have been invested in this movie I actually do like the lead actor in this film. Let me see if I pronounce his name right real quick. His name is Ivor Novello, who was previously in The Lodger. He played the mysterious gentleman in The Lodger that many people thought was the, the killer in that movie. Here he plays a character who is wrongly accused once again, and his life takes a downward spiral. And he does give a good performance, considering this is... A silent movie with no dialogue but my main problem with the movie is one I don't find Rodney a compelling character in any way I think this being a silent movie kind of limits the character from fully being an amazing well-rounded character in any way because of it being a silent movie two the fact that the scandal and the central conflict of the story comes from a love triangle I struggle to get into stories like that because I am not a fan of love triangles in a lot of movies unless it's used for comedic purposes. This is not a comedy, so it does not work in this movie in my opinion. Thirdly, this movie's just boring. Like, two hours of a man falling from grace in a silent movie gets pretty exhausting after a while. I've seen similar stories like this, obviously, in sound movies, and... Depending on the direction and depending on the actors involved in the script, these movies tend to work for me. But here, it's a 1927 silent movie. There's very little you could do. And I think maybe the movie came out a little too early because I think if Hitchcock had done this with dialogue, I think you could have done something with this because Hitchcock is good at telling stories like this. Because Hitchcock is good at telling melodramatic stories, usually mixed in with suspenseful elements. But here, this movie just does not work for me. The movie is a chore to watch. The movie is physically exhausting by the end of this movie. And even though this is a step up from some of the other Hitchcock movies that fell flat for me, like I'd say this is better than The Pleasure Garden and The Ring for sure. This actually does have a lot of good filmmaking techniques in here where you can see Hitchcock's craft come to play, which is a step up from some of the other silent films I didn't enjoy. But it's definitely not as good as The Lodger. The Lodger, I thought, was a pretty solid early entry in Hitchcock's filmography. Downhill, on the other hand, has some good elements in there, but I didn't care for the main character. I thought the melodrama was shallow, in my opinion, and the story is very boring. At the end of the day not the worst thing i've seen from hitchcock but still 
a disappointing entry in his filmography, and I'll be ready to get out of the silent phase real soon and get into Hitchcock's continued progression, where he continues to improve his craft over the years, and we get the masterpieces that really define Hitchcock as a director. Those are the movies I'm greatly excited to tackle on my channel. So as for Downhill, I'll be giving the film a 2.5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 43 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Downhill as part of my Alfred Hitchcock director project where I'm going through his complete filmography from his directing debut to his most recent film. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're a fan of Alfred Hitchcock I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my playlist. At the time of this video I'm early in the director's career. I'm going through the director's early silent films. At the time of this video I've previously reviewed films such as The Pleasure Garden, The Lodger, and The Ring. I have plenty more Hitchcock reviews to cover in this series, so if you want to join me on this journey, feel free to click the link in the description below to catch up on my past videos, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Hitchcock reviews. Join me next time in this director project where I'll be taking a look at another Hitchcock silent film, this time from 1928, and the movie is called The Farmer's Wife. Be on the lookout for that video coming very, very soon. But if you've seen Downhill, let me know down in the comments below, would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!